Hey, this is David Burns, the 60 Second Beekeeper. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you today in 60 seconds how to wrap your hive with some foam board for the winter. Now, you can buy this foam board in various sizes. I'm just showing you this half inch piece for demonstration purposes. Half inch is fine, you're just kind of cutting down the wind. Um, but uh, if you want to go larger, you can. There's not a tremendous amount of R value. Uh, to the foam board. It, it, it does have an art value, but it's not uh, really strong. So here's the measurements that I have worked out that work well for me on a typical Langstroth hive on these cuts. Uh, 17 and a half, 20 and a half, 17, and then 20. So if you follow those numbers, and you can pause the video as you're watching it to get them correctly uh, measured out, this works out pretty good and I'll show you when I do it in 60 seconds. So in other words, what I'm going to do out in the field is cut these. Now when you cut it, you don't want to cut all the way through. You only want to cut barely into the foam board enough so that you, when you go like this, you make your own natural hinge. You see, you don't want to cut all the way through. So you're cutting these pieces like this, uh, just barely below the metal. And I like to have this shiny side out so that it looks your hive looks like a spaceship or something. My blade's a little bit dull. Um, and you just do this. And this is our last piece, so you can cut that all the way off. And now, if you look, what I have is I've got the box that goes around the hive. This is the front panel here, 17 and a half. This is our side panel here of 20 and a half. Back panel, 17, it can be a little smaller, you can go 17 and a half, and then you kind of close it. I've just exaggerated a little bit, but when you, when you work all this out, it should come out pretty even so that you have a box like this that goes around your hive. So we'll go out to the field in 60 seconds. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I've got the box cut. I cut this one just like the little one I showed you inside. And so now I'm going to show you in 60 seconds how to put it on the hive for winter in three, two, one. Once I wrap it around the hive good, I'm just going to tape it down like this. Takes a couple of pieces of Gorilla Tape and that will get the job done. Thanks for watching the 60 Second Beekeeper. This is a great way to wrap up your hive for winter. And uh, it may take the bees a minute to get used to their new flight pattern because now it's kind of silver where it was white. But after a day, the bees will be fine. They'll get adjusted. Hey, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe below. overlay at least a half inch um, so it looks like this one's going to be about 18 inches uh, across did you get stung or and um, so um, let's get started we'll first uh, show you how to uh, let's see what do we want to do first and then I'm going to cut it again just a little bit not too deep just a little bit through the metal Oh, I cut that the wrong way. Cut. Are you filming now? Now. Let me get the now on. There we go. The 60 second beak. Really? Now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to put it in my mouth and then I'm going to let it go. And here we go.